Hello everyone, if you haven't already, like, comment and subscribe. Push the notification bell to be notified every time I upload on YouTube. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, I've got a show later. Uh, going to a show, a wrestling show. Reach Wrestling. Up at William Sutton Memorial Hall. It's going to be something special. I will record one of the matches, I don't know which one. Um, but I will do my best to record one of the matches. Hope you guys in, enjoy that match. I don't know when I'll probably put it on YouTube. I'll put it on YouTube. I don't know what match, but I'll... I will record one of the matches, but I don't know which one, though. Uh, I, hope you guys, I hope you guys will enjoy that. It's going to be something special. It's me, me, my dad and my brother going. So it's going to be great. So um, it's going to be something special. And also the um, Titanic 2 will get finished eventually. It's just going to take time. Plus to put it on hold. The reason why they put the Titanic 2 project on hold is because of Covid. They haven't been able to finish the construction because of COVID. They got the highest rates of COVID nineteen up in China. That's the most most. You know what I mean. I hope you know. I can't explain it brilliantly. If what? Hang on. I'll try to explain it best as I can. China has got the highest. What was it? The highest. Hang on, I was trying to think, the highest rates of Covid, hopefully that's, that explains it. Um, so, um, they haven't been able to do the construction because of that, because of Covid. If Covid wasn't, I'm not, um, hang on. Um, if COVID-19 didn't happen they would have probably would have done a lot of the bridge work in that but because of COVID not been able to do that so um, they will honestly the, it'll get done eventually I don't know when because I'm not I'm not an expert um, so it will be I reckon a few years maybe for it depends really on all sides, there's a theme park, which you guys know about, the one in Kent, the London one, and it's going to be going to, um, it's going to be in ahead next year on the, I, feel, I don't know what date, but it is next year. We're going to start it next year, in other words. It's going to be something special. I hope you guys, like, I hope you guys like, and, um, have a great day and also just trying to think what else to say um, so um, also for some of you that don't know I do have autism sensory integration and ADHD if you guys want to know what sensory integration is how it affects you watch the this is me what sensory integration really is video my mum explains so well what sensory integration is how it affects people with autism because it, she does explain really well. So well. She's spot on with everything. I recommend you checking that video out. She's, she's spot on with everything. Um, so. Um, the theme park itself is going to be something special. It will take a few, I would reckon, how many years, I reckon it might take some three, four years, something like that, for it to officially, to, God, what's the word, it's on the tip of my tongue, um, it won't come out, um, for them to finish the, finish the, I'll let, I can't explain it, it's, my, I can't explain it well, but you guys will get used to seeing that in my videos. Um, 
Also, they, they reckon it'll be open by 2024. That's what they reckon. I've only, my mum sent me the news up on via, what was it, Messenger. So she's the one that found it out for me. And I found, then I went and sent it to her. So I thought I'd let you guys know because there's not been much news people uploading about it. Um, I'm looking forward to it. If I had the chance to go to it, I would. It's in this country, so I'm able to. So, hope you guys. Hopefully, this update hopefully means a well, means something to you. Hang on, I'm just gonna turn the. So that's. I thought I'd give you guys an update on the. On this as well. It's not very often I get shim. Like. It's not very often, I don't think it's been very often which I've shown my face like I am now. So, if you, I did upload on YouTube the, one, of the mats, the mat, one of the matches I recorded from the, what was it, from the St. Hostel show. If you guys want to check that out, I'd totally recommend you checking it out. It's the Lee Hunter versus Nick Riley match. It was, that show was something special. Back to the evening park. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what this is going to turn out like. It's going to be something special. Um, it's going to be a popular theme park, I reckon, anyway. Um, apparently, from what I've heard, it's going to be a Disneyland one. That's what my mum told me, anyway. It's And... Some type, some, and also something to do with Paramount. Unless you guys can find that out. If you guys know about this, well, no, I'm just gonna carry on what I was saying. Um, and also, um, talk a bit about myself as well. For a lot of you that don't know, I'm a wrestling trainee, and. Uh, and I'm soon to be making my debut in wrestling. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Um, a lot of you, a lot of you that don't know, I've been doing this wrestling training for three years now. Uh, it took me three years just to get to this point. Uh, my wrestling name is Connor Moses, for some of you that don't know. And also in the This Is Me Century Integration video, my mum did explain about me religious side and that, why I wanted my Connor Moses to be my wrestling name. So if you want to check that video out, I totally recommend it. There's this young lad called Dwobble Mage. Um, hang on, I'm trying to think. Sorry, right, I'm just trying to... And also, he's a really kind, kind-hearted person. I, um... This is going to be for him, dedicated to him as well. So, he has a YouTube channel. If you guys have trouble finding it, just comment down below and I'll try and help you best as I can. If you guys have trouble with spelling, I know some people do. Just comment down below and I don't mind helping you. My spelling's just as bad, but I'll try and help as best as I can. It's gonna be something special. The young lad, um, he's, he's really kind. I did a video from the This Is Me Search and Regression video. I talked about him in the start of it, so if you guys want to check it out, I totally recommend it. Um, so, um, my mum ordered me some Christmas like things for my um, Chris some things for my Christmas yesterday. I will explain what they are. There's a, the one of them. Uh, fucking, I'll put a photo of them um, of what she ordered me on on my Instagram. If you guys want to check it out, I have two Instagrams: my autistic Titanic fan one. And plus me, Conant Moses, Wrestler One. If you guys want to check them both out, I totally recommend it. Um, so, um, it's music one. 
Well, I forget what was in Whitcomb, I think it was. Music would have been played on Titanic. The picture itself, the front cover, I'm trying to think as best as I can as I'm seeing it in front of me. It has got a photo of the sh of the ship. It's got about 24 songs on it in total of songs that would have been played on Titanic. It's very, there's another one, Rise of Titanic, which is a very rare album. Because the, kind of, the person that wrote the music for that film has died in 2011, which was John Barry. God bless his soul. Um, so, um, then the other one, which was the anniversary Titanic soundtrack that James Horner released in 2012. That was, there was three. So that all came up to about £36.51. Not bad at all. Um, you, because you won't get the Rise of Titanic soundtrack anywhere else, because it is a very rare album as well, and that sort of music I'm into, what got me into that sort of music is the... like, it's the sort of music that would have been played in Titanic, so when I watched the Titanic movie and kind of that kind of James Cameron's Titanic got me kind of got me into Titanic and the mute and also orchestra related music and then I went and checked out James Horner's music up on YouTube and also you can check his music up on Spotify and YouTube music as well and um, so um, yeah so it was something if you guys want if there's any like there have on recommend you guys going to Music Magpie. Their music they are, they have music on there are very like they do sell Titanic mute soundtracks music on Music Magpie and they're very cheap. Not kidding at all. With some of the music of I was looking for a sound like a soundtrack up on a Titanic soundtrack up on um eBay and some of them people were selling them for was about 160 100 and there's a what on other which was 60 pounds and that is just that's just kind of think of the word but anyway um music magpie so albums cheaper than that I totally recommend them you're checking them out put up on Google music magpie if you guys want something Titanic music Titanic soundtrack related, just put up on Music Magpie where it says sell or sell you selling or you're buying, click on your buying and just search Titanic soundtrack or music. A load will pop up. Tight like the one I've ordered was the what was it? Well I explained the one. Well three of them really. Silly me saying that. Um so it was so that was something so it was something special um, so that was something I hope this means something to you this video I hope this video means something to you guys as well so it's going to be something special this year and yeah so um, it's Titan the the anniversary of the construction of Titanic is about thirty first of March within three months, which is the new year in three in a month time. Um, and it's the anniversary of my granddad's passing in two months, which is the fourth of February, the day before my sister's birthday. I remember Michael Jackson's anniversary off the top of my head. The 25th of June, 2009. With some anniversaries, I can't remember at all. Britannic's anniversary. I know it, Britannic's anniversary of the sinking was November the, the... November of the year of 1916. But I can't remember the date because my memory being terrible. It's normal, my memory's freaking terrible at times. Um, I do have trouble with a lot of noise. Also, um, I do recommend you getting a pair of ear protectors. I'll explain to you what ear protectors are meant to do. Basically, what they're meant to do is block out a lot of the noise. I block out a lot of the noise, so you 
do help, I recommend them to you guys that struggle with noise. I have done ambient music playlists upon my YouTube. If you guys want to check them out, go to my YouTube channel and go across to the playlists where all my playlists are. Hang on, how do you find it? It's alright, I'm just trying to think. And where my playlists are located. And scroll down a bit. It will say show all of all the creator playlists are done. Click on that. Hopefully this means something, to, and then it should show them, or some, it just go into my playlist area and scroll through there's ambient music on there, down in there. Um, I am, that's my way of trying to, like, create ambient music playlists to help, like, you people who suffer with anxiety. I recommend ambient music for people that, because if you read a book, you can't even, con you can't even, Concentrate on reading the book when your head's up messed up, if you know what I mean. Um, that's why I go, I tend to go to my mum more when my anxiety plays up because I have anxiety problems before and it is not nice. And um, Adam Madden's got a video coming up today about five o'clock. I would be at the show, so so um, this video's got to gonna, gonna have to end this video soon. So, um um, so, um, what was this? Is there something else? I'm just trying to think. Also, I, there is loads of ambience music on YouTube. There's Titanic ambience music, there's James Cameron's Avatar ambience music, there's Rainforest ambience music, there's loads. If you guys like the sound of Rainforest with a sudden bird whistling and that sort of thing, with the rain, like the. Curly, you get the idea. Um,. It's the rainfall type of those sounds of rain, that sort of thing. There's check out ambient music. Um, pardon me, ambient music on YouTube. There is loads of ambient music. You name it, it's on there. Victor there's Victorian ambient music on YouTube and all. If you want to find Victorian, put in upon YouTube period time ambient music. And a load should pop up. If you put Victorian, a few will pop up. But if you put, I don't. Well, you guys will find out what I mean. If you put period time ambience music up on YouTube, there should be a load popping up. And also, there's World War One and Two ambience music up on YouTube. I have done a playlist of World War One and Two ambience music up on YouTube. I've done it as all in one World War One and Two ambience music all in one playlist. And um, also, I have done some play but playlists up on my Spotify Autistic Titanic fan page. If you want to go and check it out, I totally recommend it. Um, is th and also, there is ambient music on that one as well. Uh, it, what is it called? It was called Relaxation Ambience Playlist. I have made it public so you guys can check it out. I've made it for people who for anyone that wants to find something different to listen to and I love you guys so much I hope my, my the Amps Music I've playlist I created helps you guys out as best as I can love you guys so much peace out